three, two, one. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. My name is Mabelia Naya and I'll be your host for today's show. With that being said, here are some of the best and worst fashions by Haley. What's up Spartans? My name is Haley, and as you know, there have been a lot of fashion trends going around this year. We see people wearing Nike Tech, Lululemon, Burks, Bose, all that good stuff. So today, I wanted to ask a few of our Spartans what their favorite and their least favorite fashion trends of the year were. Let's get started. Okay, my favorite fashion trend. My favorite fashion trend? Uh, um, I think it has to be like Birkenstocks or like when people add like bows to their hairs or like on the purses. Like I think that's really cute. I think Birkenstocks are very like timeless. It can be something that you can wear year round, like whether you're wearing the sandals or you're wearing the clogs. Like it's just the shoe for any type of weather. Because when you show up in hoodies and sweats and the slides and like, I think it just shows like high school, like Nobody really wants to be here sometimes and like you come up and you put something on real quick and then you show up and you do your work and then you go home and go to sleep and it's already the outfit you go to sleep in. Maxi skirts and off the shoulder tops. I prefer maxi skirts because I think it just gives like you something else to wear during like the colder months than just like pants. And also I feel like if you style it correctly it can like look really cute. <laughs> My least favorite outfit trend of this year is my least favorite fashion trend. Uh, uh, my least favorite fashion trend of the year it would have to be definitely people wearing Crocs with jeans. It's probably the most disgusting thing ever. <laughs> it's definitely the the sambas. They're like they're horrible. They're ugly. They're flat and all of that. I love Crocs, but Crocs with good outfits. Like, good outfits should be paired with good shoes, like Jordans, Nikes, Converse, um, Birkenstocks, anything. But with Crocs, no. It's a no-go for me. Was Uggs. I don't, personally, I just think they ugly. Like, I ain't never, like, really fell behind a trend. Like, if I see a girl in Uggs, I'm like, uh, no. Like, the furry Uggs, too? Those do not do it, bro. <laughs> Those are not it. I ain't even gonna lie. But, like... Like, if you put them on, I'm not going to be like, oh, you got ugly shoes. But Uggs do not do it for me personally. Like, that was the worst fashion trend of the year. Well, opinions do differ. What did you guys think about the favorite and least favorite fashion trends of this year? Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. My name was Haley. Good luck on your finals. Have a happy holiday season. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Speaking about trends, let's check out Lucy's video on why do people color their hair. Why do the students ask color hairs? We ask the questions. Tell me, why do the color hairs has purple? Because purple is my favorite color and I've always wanted to have colored hair. Because mm. I think it looks cool. I had a question. Why do your hair is red? My hair is red because I decided I needed a change from my blonde hair to maybe either purple or red, and I decided to do it red. So I had my hair red, but then my mom told me that I had to change it back. So I dyed it the closest thing to black, but it faded out over time. So it's brown at the ends now, and then my roots are black. Well, my hair is not just brown, it's blonde as well. But, um, you're good. But I dyed my hair brown and blonde because I used to be like a redhead and I've also dyed my hair pink and I just kind of wanted to go natural but didn't want to go too natural if that makes sense, like still look interesting. So that's why my hair is brown and blonde. Hmm. Um, so usually I was born with natural blonde hair so I wanted to dye my hair because I don't know, I was just bored. So I dyed my hair brown and then it faded. Why is your hair is brown? Um, I decided to dye my hair or like get highlights in it because I felt like my hair was boring and I just wanted to like, you know, change it up a little bit. Why your, why your hair is brown? Um, 
Well, it's because, so me and my friend, we were supposed to dye our hair like together, but he didn't want to do it, so he opted out. So I was like, screw it, why not? So I just did it. It was blue at first, but it, I, uh, it was fading, so I just bleached it back to blonde. Mm -hmm. Hey. All right, now turn. Hi, question. Why is your hair is red? My hair is red because I feel like I get bored like with if I stay with, with the style for too long with my hair. So I like to just change it and like do like different colors and like I just love it and like people are always complimenting it so I like it. Did any of y'all see me there? Anyway, we have Brandon's story about esports. Welcome back Spartans. My name is Brandon McCoy and today we'll be seeing what the esports team is up to. Am I here with? Uh, Valley and Ruben. Malachi. Tiger Lily. Terrence Kelly. Grayson Sean. Uh, why'd you join esports? I joined esports uh, mainly because uh, I've been, you know, uh, been playing a lot of games. So I wanted to, you know, pursue into that. And since this is like my only opportunity to, I decided to, you know, encourage myself to join esports. I like playing games and I like being competitive. And both of those are really cool. Mm -hmm. To make more friends, basically. <laughs> At first, I thought it was another class, but I got to stay. Everyone there was really nice. Nice experience to be there. Um, yeah, it's just a great place to be overall. Today I joined esports to better my skills in any type of game, specifically Smash Bros, which is what I play in esports currently. What games do you play? Uh, I mainly play the Super Smash Bros, Mario Kart, and Splatoon. Probably my most favorite games that I play at home. Uh, Smash Bros, Mario Kart, Splatoon 3, and there's another one that I can't remember at the moment. Is there? No, we'll just see, it. we'll keep it at that. Splatoon and Mario Kart. Smash Bros and Mario Kart. Smash Bros, Super Smash Bros specifically, and also Mario Kart. What's your experience so far? Uh, the games? The experience with the games has been good. Uh, people playing, like, playing online, it could be better, but my teammates, they're, they're really supportive. They, you know, they have you strive to be the best or do better. And then uh, my coach, you know, he encourages all of us to practice so, you know, we can at least make it to higher parts of the tournaments and stuff. But in short, all around, it's a really good experience. It's loud, very loud, but the, the people there are cool and I enjoy being here. It's like my favorite pastime. Um, it's been really fun, like we just come after school, goof around a bit, a little more than a bit, but we just have fun. Well, like I said, everyone there is really nice. It does get a bit loud, but I mean, it's a good kind of loud, not the bad kind of loud. Everyone there is nice, We're su we support each other, we crack jokes here and there. We have events, separate side events, that host uh, other people. We're also doing a fundraiser to support our club, so... Yeah, but yeah, the experience has been nice. Everyone there is really cool. Everyone there is really friendly. People there, the teacher, Mr. Morales, is great too. Everyone there is really friendly. It's a, it's a nice place to be. I suggest other people to join. This is, I would say I'm at an intermediate level, novice level between fighting against my friends and uh, opponents as well. Very interesting. Me personally, I'm not into it, but it still sounds like fun. But if you're thinking about joining, come down to room D310 with Mr. Morales. If you ever wonder what it's like to be part of our Spartan Times class, check out Angel's point of view of our class. Hey Spartans, I decided to, you know, f learn more about my AV class, like my classmates, right? And you know what? They have some pretty funny opinions, so I just wanted to kind of go ahead and share this with you guys. Alright Mia, so do you like black licorice? Do you think it's good? Not at all. Feels like you have wires in your mouth. How do you know what wires in the mouth is like? You've never bitten a wire. Uh, All right, now what AV suit am I here with today? You are here with Dominic Nose. All right, now hear me out. You like pineapple on pizza? I love pineapple on pizza, dude. It's like one of my favorite toppings. I get a ham and pineapple. Top two right there. On Thanksgiving Day or Christmas. Okay. Do you put pineapple on your ham? Uh, nice. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. All right, Micah. Is a burger, a nice juicy burger, a sandwich. A burger is not a sandwich. No, it's like saying, is a hot dog a sandwich as well? It's not a sandwich. It's because it, it's got buns on it, you know? So. Okay, all right, you know what? I think I agree with that. I, I can agree. 
I, you know, like it, it's it's different. It's literally different, guys. Like, please do not say a burger is a sandwich. All right, Maritza, do you enjoy coming to school? Yeah, I like coming to school. I like all my classes and my teachers and my classmates. It works hard. <laughs> it works hard. But you know what? It is, it is good to at least come here. I get, you know, just hang out with everyone. So that's good. Aiden B. Is Taylor Swift overrated? <laughs> yeah, bro. Stop showing her at Chiefs games, bro. Nobody cares. We're let her watch football. Name five good songs. I guess I don't even listen to her, bro, so I can't even do any. I can't do that. All right, all right. All right, Angel. He's a, he's, I'm also Angel. But anyways, all right. Do you think the FNAF movie was good? Do you think it was good? Yes. I am a full-time FNAF fan. I've been seeing FNAF ever since I was little. All right, you know, I mean, I never, I played the games here and there. I haven't watched a movie yet, but I think I will very soon. Do you think I should? Yes, it is good, including the spring lock scene. All right, I'll take that into advice. Thanks, Angel. All right, Matthew. All right, so look, when, after Elon Musk's big purchase on a, rec on a very popular app, do you call it X or Twitter? No one calls it X. I, I don't know anyone that calls it X. X is now worse or worth less than like what it, half of what he paid for. So it's huge L, huge L, huge L. Hey, Haley, I have a quick question for you. What do you prefer more, Samsung or Apple when it comes to phones? Apple. It's, it has its ups and downs, but I don't know, it's just, it's nicer. I you know, I can agree, I literally have an iPhone myself. So you're working on a Mac as well, so I get it. Team Apple all the way, Team Apple all the way. All right, Julian, okay, so do you think NASCAR is a real sport? NASCAR is a real sport. I don't know what else to say. It's a real sport. There's, in a sport, you have teams, you have different roles. There's a lot of things to do, a lot of things to worry about. You gotta train. It's a sport. I say it's a sport. All right, thanks, Julian. I appreciate it. Oh, no. All right, there we go. You're with the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be, Caleb Hall. That's to be determined. All right, now, but look. Oh, okay, anyways, anyways, anyways. Look, hear me out. Do you think the Spartan time should end? 100%. Yes, it should end. Oh, really? Oh, God. 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 Now, last but not least, I am very proud to say that I got to be part of this team. This amazing show couldn't have been possible without any incredible cast as this one. Take a look at Daylene's recap of The Wedding Singer, The Musical. I'm your host, Maveli, signing out. Thank you. 